Welcome to the advice show media, the common sense approach. So we have an update to the story posted yesterday about former New Orleans Saints defensive end Will Smith. Now, the story from yesterday was that he was killed in a road rage incident Well, surveillance cameras have caught the incident that led up to Will Smith getting killed. And the story has really changed the whole course. Let's go roll the clip overnight. ABC News obtaining new surveillance video seemingly shedding light on the deadly road rage shooting death of former NFL star Will Smith. Watch closely on this surveillance footage provided to ABC News by a restaurant two blocks from the scene of the shooting. This Hummer, resembling the police's description of the shooter's vehicle, appears to stop suddenly, seemingly bumped by a car matching Smith's Mercedes SUV. Then, as the Hummer appears to pull over, the SUV speeding off. Seconds later, the Hummer apparently following. Hayes' lawyer claiming his client was not the aggressor in the fatal shooting just minutes later. Prior to the actions that led to Mr. Smith's death, my client was involved in a hit and run. Someone, someone hit him, the person failed to pull over. My client trailed behind this person in the effort to get their license plate number. My client also called 911. Uh, while he's on the phone with 911, that's when the three car accident occurs. Police claiming the 28 year old Hayes shot Smith several times in the torso and back. After the two exchanged words during an altercation over Hayes bumping his Hummer into Smith's SUV at the crime scene. And Smith's wife caught in the gunfire, heard here screaming in pain. With Hayes right there being handcuffed. And with his client now behind bars on $1 million bail, Hayes' attorney laying the groundwork for his client's defense. Are you saying that your client felt threatened by the presence of something Smith had or someone in his party had? Uh, everybody out there felt threatened. By Smith? By someone other than Mr. Hayes. So as you saw on the tape, Will Smith hit Cardell Hayes. Cardell Hayes pulled over, which was he was supposed to do. He was supposed to exchange insurance information and handle it from there. But no, Mr. Smith decided to leave and Mr. Hayes went after him. And so as he went after him, as you saw, he was trying to get the license plate and Will Smith was wrong all the way around from the hit and run to getting out of the vehicle and starting stuff with Mr. Hayes. So it changed the whole thing. Let's be clear about something and let's be completely honest. Will Smith caused this whole situation. He caused his own death. He caused his wife to get shot. That was so silly. That was stupid. So you're going to start stuff with a guy that you don't know. Okay. You hit his car, do all this stuff with your wife in the car. You know, most men be like, you know, I'm not going to start no drama. I got my wife in the car. I have my kids in the car. If they say, if he had the kids in the car, most men that got sense wouldn't do that. Most men with sense wouldn't say, you know what? I'm going to go up to a car that's a Hummer at night. I don't know if there's some D-boys in that car. I don't know who is in that car. It could be some straight certified killers just riding around. And you're going to go up to this car and do what you did at the car. And, you know, some of these guys that's like him, who's good-sized guys, who's lift weights, and they can intimidate people. Sometimes you think you're going to intimidate people, but that other guy wasn't intimidated and he pulled out his gun and he started shooting and they found a gun inside Will Smith's vehicle as well. He didn't use it, but it was there. So this story don't make me feel sorry for him anymore. I don't. I feel sorry for his wife. I feel sorry for his children, but this is why. I'm so glad when I did this story, I said, you know what? Let me just, just, I'm not going in on the, and y'all was going in. All oh, black people, black people kill each other. Why brothers kill each other? Nah. And now, now what you think about it? Now, what do you think about it? What do you think? This man started all this stuff in the tape prove it. Now, this man, in my opinion, he should get off of self-defense. It's just my opinion. I don't think he should go to jail for no murder because it was self-defense. Sorry, I'm not going to defend him when you I don't defend nobody if they wrong. I don't. Um, this is why you need to think before you act. You need to do what's right. If you hit somebody, pull over, exchange insurance information. 
This is why we have to have insurance on our vehicles. We must use common sense daily because if this man would use common sense, he would still be here right now with his wife and his children. You can't go up to people acting like a thug, breaking laws and think you're doing what you want to do and you don't get something happen to you. Unfortunately, I feel like I said, and I'm gonna repeat this again. I feel bad for his wife. I feel bad for his children. I feel bad for his whole family. But this was something that was very preventable. All you had to do was pull over and exchange insurance information, which is very sad. And his wife will sit there and lay down and while she's in the hospital and probably replay that all the time. You never know. She probably told him a lot of times your wives would tell you, leave that alone. Just sit here. Don't do this. You know how your wife will calm you down and don't want you to do nothing. But some men are hot headed. They want to do what they want to do. And, and here we go. Make sure you check out the link in the description box. Child, the studio we're building as one campaign. We're building a TV ready studio, but we need your help. Please donate. If you want to do it privately, you can do it at advisor.com. Click the donate tab. Hit me up in the comments, future commentaries. Subscribe.